Okay, uh, today's shiur is a hamshach that the previous shiur, when we spoke about eating mazoinas during uh, the meal, if you make a brocha, don't make a brocha. So many people uh, were confused. What about the other thing that comes as dessert, kinoach suudo, if it's ice cream, chocolate? So if it's the same aloha as the mazoinas or not? The answer is it's not the same as the mazoinas, the chocolate or the ice cream. Um, and the, the, the mazoinas is a little more problematic. So, so I'm going to talk about the ice cream and the chocolate. It says clearly in Shulchan Aruch, in the Kuf Ayin Zayin. It says like this. Vimem dvorim aboim shalomachmas hasuda. Think that you don't need because of the meal. It's not main part of the meal. Da'ainu. She'en derech likvo hasuda alem lapas vem sapas. You don't eat them together with the bread to, to accompany the bread that's not... Uh, Coming together with the bread as a main suda. Kagoin to enim va'anovim v'chomin a peiros. If you eating fruits that they usually you don't eat them with the bread. Im ochal oisom below pass. If you eat them without the bread, to unim brocha lifneim. You uh, you make a brocha uh, when you when you eat them. The birkas amoitze in a patarton. You you cannot be oitze with the amoitze lechem and 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 those fruits that you eat. The lav miikar suda hem. That's not the main part of the suda. Because since they come in the meal, so you say bracha rishoyna, but the brikas amazon, the kiyan shvob bezok hazud, the brikas amazon patartom. Okay, so that's obviously if you eat a chocolate or ice cream, if you don't, you don't eat it with the bread, you, you say bracha on them. Some people think we don't say shakol uh, by 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 the suuda, but by no, you could say any bracha. It doesn't make a difference what kind of bracha rishoyna it is. If it's not main part of the meal, it's a kinuach suuda dessert, and you don't eat it with the bread. You say bracha on it. Why the, the mazoinus itself, the cake or cookies, have have more problems? I'll tell you. There's three reasons why they're more problematic. Okay. The problem number one: there is three shittas, What's called mazoinus? Um, Shita number one, that um, if it's a regular uh, um, dough that you make bread, but you put over there a lot of sweeteners, a lot of uh, uh, honey or, or sugar, vashkadim, um, vatavlin, and 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 you you put over there other miloy, that's mazoina. That, that's hundred percent mazoina. That that's not made. Uh, like a bread, you 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 make it uh, like something that you usually eat for dessert. Then there's a second shita that even you don't have all those sweeteners, but that's made with a lot of may or may dvash. So I mean, it looks to you like a regular dough, but it's a sweet dough. So that's one shita you say on at mazoinis. The ramo add have to be roiv may peiros, roiv may dvash. It should mama should fill this, the sweet dough. Then there is a third shita that even it's a regular dough, mama regular. The, the difference is in the shape. You make it as like a small cracker, a small biscuit, uh, a small matzo. They have a small matzo today, mama tiny matzo. They they like a little crackers. They're the same dough as a bread dough, but you make it at mazoinis because it's not called regular achila. It's called koises, like you like you 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 uh, bite uh, by biting and eating small. It's not regular achila. It's not regular like eating bread. A koponim, since there is a lot of machloikis, what's called mazoinus. So one of the chashoshes we have by the su'uda depends what kind of mazoinus you're eating. La halacha, it says, ugo lakula. If you, uh, if, if, if you have any of those mazoinus, you're going to say, if you have no other choice, you're going to say, better say mazoinus and not hamoiz. It says in the halacha, the altere brings other posts, the bal nefesh should eat them eat them during the meal with the questionable mazoinus, because according to the first shita, Small crackers, it's not mazoinus. In order to be mazoinus, have to be full of fillings of chocolate, of fruits. So, so bal nefesh, it says yachmir al atzmoi. You eat them during the meal. Any questionable mazoinus, don't don't eat them. So, because of that, maybe this is oh. So when you're not during the meal, so you have a question about bracha. You, during you read, I said amoitzi. So according to the shita that let's say that cracker is a moitzi, why are you saying again another bracha mazonis? The moitzi was p- pattering it. That's why. That's that's one of the the reasons the mazonis is more problematic. There's another problem why mazonis is more problematic. Um, if you eating the mazonis because you're still hungry, you you you're eating it as a filler to to fill you in your hunger. 
then it's still Yotzer with Hamoitzi. Then... In any three categories? Uh, yeah. Even you eat the first category, La Soiva, to eat it because you're still hungry, you're still not going to say Baruch because Hamoitzi pattering it. Um, um, so because of those problems, that's why that's more problematic in the post we just spoke about in the previous year. There's one more thing of here I saw, whether by people or even some post because of that, what says over here, in, 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 it's brought in the in Shulchanoch, in the previous poskim, in Kuf Ayin Zayin, in the end of Halacha base, there was another minute that is not Shaykh today. It was time of the Gemara when they used to masalik the Shulchan, they completely removed the little table, some people, and then they brought dessert, then they used to make brocha lifneim velachrem, it's brought in the Gemara. They used to bring, let's say they, they completely finished to eat, they removed the table, then they brought uh, some coffee, some cake, some fruits. They used to make bracha rishon and bracha achroina before benching. Before benching, besides the bench, and then the, the poskim bring that's what the shulchanor brings in, in a kuf ayin zayin halacha base. V'din ze ha'achron en amotzui benenu. We don't have any more such a such a thing that we're going to say bracha rishon and achroina. L'fi she'en onu regil limshach yedane min apas ad birka samozen. We don't really finish the meal till we say Birka Samozin. So there's a few reasons because we still have the big tables, we're sitting together, we're not doing any real changes. So we may, uh, or whatever other reason, maybe we, we still we might eat the bread till the last minute. So, so a lot of poskim took it, and a lot of people also understand, since that din and anoheg benenu, we did not even finish the meal yet. So maybe everything is part of the meal. But what the Shulchanor says clearly within the Ha'achron, only the Gabbai, the last dinim that he brought, which is was not saying Broch Achroina. We're never going to say during the meal Broch Achroina, but in the Foshas Allah Micha Allah Gefen, because we're not knowing such a thing anymore. It's all part of the meal to be Yoitza with Broch Achroina. Broch Achroina clearly, it says you, you have to make sometimes. That's why by the Muslims it's more problematic. There's different etzes, like we said, from the. Kafachayim, either have in mind when you say Amoitzi, and if you didn't have it in mind, eat it after bench, after because Amazon, the uh, El, El Yaraba we brought, you should say in the beginning of the meal, on something shakal and chocolate or ice cream, and have in mind everything you're going to eat, it's questionable, you'd be Yoitzah with that, even normally you're not Moitzah with shakal, hakal, it's only, but you have it, in such a case as you could do it. So, but Lamaitzi, if you by you, it's clear. You eating. You finish your meal. You're not hungry anymore. Now, like many Shabbos for Yom Tov meals, like many Chasanas, and they're bringing now a cake with 100% mezoinus. That's with. It's a sweet dough. It's with fillings. And and you eating it like quinoa as dessert. You're not hungry. You're gonna say mezoinus on it. There's no problem. Like I brought from. Morgan Avram, from Morocha Shulchan, it's, it's very, not a problem. But again, even those which is have, uh, they, they, they're afraid, they're concerned, they're afraid to say that Baruch it's only the problem is for government Mazonis. Any other Kinuach Sauda, fruits, chocolate, ice cream, there's no Shiloh whatsoever. If you don't eat it with the bread, even during the meal, not the end of the meal, you will say, and then Baruch What about drinks?